Just back from the hospital, Mahmoud Eid nursing the foot that took a bullet. I feel like the worst things I ever have is a lot of pain. Eid was carjacked at gunpoint in Providence by a suspect being chased by police. You mean like this is the worst thing to see a gun at the top of your head? You mean if I don't hit it, probably he's done. I'm a history. State police say Michael Ibiwa was wanted for a home invasion in his hometown of Woonsocket around noon. That's where it all started. Neighbors there, too scared to talk on camera, tell me they heard screams and saw a masked man running from the house. Neighbors called police with the license plate number of the car the masked man got into. Police spotted the car in nearby Blackstone and chased it into Providence, where it crashed into a curb and a stop sign. Then police say the suspect carjacked Eid. Eid tells me he saw the suspect first trying to get into a woman's car. And I told to my cousin, slow, slow down. I want to see what this, this guy's doing. And soon we just slowed down. He jumped in the car with the gun. And but Eid did not sit still. The gun at the top of my head. Soon I hit the gun like this, and I hit his hand. The two, he shot two bullets. One going into Eid's foot, the suspect taking off in his car. Police again gave chase up to 80 miles an hour into Cumberland. The suspect crashed again into a plumber's van. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a little shaken up. <laughs> Chris Gelfuso was the passenger in that van. He heard sirens first. The next thing I know, there's a car coming off 116, about 60 miles an hour. <laughs> and then the next thing I know, we're slammed into. Then there's cops coming out, rifles, guns, just screaming, smashing windows. Police say they pulled Ibiwa out of the car. He has a previous rap sheet, which includes eluding police. This guy, he shouldn't be see the sun anymore. Mahmoud Eid with a gunshot wound, but knows it could have been worse for himself and others. You might have saved that woman. I, well, I have to. Because in case that's my mom or my sister, I have no choice. I have to do what they have to do. And the suspect is due in court later today. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News in Providence.